Yum, yum. Hi, Matt here from Pixel Fondue. I'll be uploading a series of tutorials focused on completing a shot similar to this one. For this, I will be working on rigging a character of mine using Character Box, uh, rigging an animation plugin from PSoft, tracking a background plate with Synth Eyes, lighting and rendering out the sequence from Moto, and compositing in After Effects. For this first video, I'll be rigging the Ladybug character with Character Box. Bring up the C Box menu, click on Setup, and tick the Rig Edit mode, and then select the six legged Create Rig setting. As a default, the rig is of an ant, which is way bigger than the Ladybug character. To start with, we need to remove the IK rigging from the legs. So select all the feet locators and remove them by using the Remove 2D IK goal in the Cbox menu. This is to make sure that any of the coding used by Cbox is correctly removed too. The Ladybug doesn't have a tail, so we can remove this part of the rig as well. To resize the rig, let's start with the thorax position. Select it and move it into the desired position, and then resize the skeleton using these numbers here. Remember, remember do not use the normal scale for any part of the rigging process. Once you have the center position in place, you can use the offset here to position the box without altering the center. Now for the legs, start with the back right leg, position it to where you'd like it to go. You can double click on the leg box and the whole leg hierarchy will be selected. Change the skeleton size to something that suits the character. Three millimeters here in the X and Y would be good. Now just keep working on positioning the boxes to match the leg mesh. The leg has four joints. But I think this character needs maybe only two. So change the number of joints to two and continue to refine the position and rotation of each joint. Actually, let's, uh, let's add another joint to make it three, I think. These will be IK legs. So make sure that the joints line up properly along the correct bend for the IK to work properly. So some of you may be thinking, why a ladybug? Well, this ladybug is part of a children's animation series I am creating. I have other characters like an ant, a bee, a caterpillar, a spider, what else? Uh, a snail and a cockroach. I have a link below to my Instagram account, so if you want to see some more characters, have a gander. Adjust the foot box to the desired size, again using the skeleton size, not scale. Go into wireframe mode to make sure the foot is flat on the y-axis. And make sure pivot points are in the correct positions. With Cbox, we can mirror all that over to the other side easily. Select the opposite leg and change the number of joints to three. Select the leg chain and select copy posture. Double click on the opposite leg to select all the boxes and click on mirror paste posture. All the joints position and rotation information is transferred to the other side. Skeleton size doesn't transfer over just yet. So adjust these manually. Now you can adjust all the other four legs using the same technique. I'll speed this process up here. While I do this, I'd just like to chat about Cbox in general. Cbox is created by PSoft, a Japanese company that makes numerous plugins for a variety of software. A few people have commented in the Modo forums about the price of it, but as someone like me who uses Modo every day and does quite a lot of character animation, Cbox has made my life a whole lot easier when rigging and really pays for itself with the first job. So definitely check it out. Select the root item and resize it accordingly. Also adjust the position using the offset here. Okay, now back in setup mode, let's adjust the head boxes. Make sure rig edit mode is selected and position the neck boxes and head boxes accordingly. I think an extra joint for the neck is needed, so add a joint here. Change the skeleton sizes and the offset positions of the boxes and offset positions of the boxes as you like. 
Okay, now for the antenna. I, I want to have a different type of antenna to these defaults. So select them both and remove them. We can customize the rig with anything from this menu. And I think I'll add another spine rig to the head box for the antenna. By default, the spine is added to this position, so adjust accordingly. From the front, move the first box to the correct position and then add another spine rig to the head. You can select all the boxes and copy and paste the rotations positions to the opposite side easily. So now we have the basic rig setup done. Let's put the IK solvers back onto the feet by selecting all of the foot boxes and click on add 2D IK goal in the setup menu. Again, the default size is very large. Do not scale the locators, adjust their size accordingly here, as well as the IK pivot locators for the knees. Now that we have adjusted the transforms in setup mode, we need to make sure that all the boxes remain at this pose when out of setup mode. So double click on the root item, selecting all of the boxes and select set to initial posture here. And check to see if all the controls are working and to your liking. Looking at the antenna, I can select only the top tip box and rotate it and I can control the bend easily more than the original antenna preset, I reckon. All right, so that's the basic setup for a six leg character. I will go into binding the rig in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Yum, yum.